Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black Friday. The day where all Americans thank black people for putting up with our shit. Thanks, y'all. We really appreciate it. Okay, we are over at Universe Today getting weekend waxical philosophical. Are you ready for that? And this is going to blow your mind, baby. Like a subatomic hair dryer. Uh, is that a thing? Yay. A fifth fundamental force could really exist, but we haven't found it yet. It's kind of like my love life. Uh, apparently there were four forces of my love life before, and then it hit a, a dead spot. The universe is governed by four fundamental forces. Gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. Okay, so I'm going to guess ahead of time that the fifth force is boobs because they're magical, mystical. Men and women love them, and they nurtured us as babies. And when, as men, when we get back to them, we are always happy. Okay, let's read ahead. Let's see if I'm correct. These forces drive the motion of the ocean and the behavior ever, of everything we see around us. All right, so I'm sticking with boobs or just women in general because you want to know why most men work at dead-end jobs for their whole life so they can get a good woman to spend the rest of their time with. Women are the passive-aggressive engine that drives the economy and everything else. Oh, on that note, I got to take this time out to remind you that, A, you guys are freaking awesome. I would like to thank George, B, Cheryl, Darlene, Joy, Eli, Ellie, Tawny, and Athena. Y'all are incredible. I've raised $155 of my monthly fundraiser with a goal of $888. We got $732 to go. Every single dollar counts. Y'all are just fantastic. I am so thankful for y'all. After seven years, you guys are incredible. If you would like to send me a letter, you can send it to T. Lewis in 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416. Technically, letters are my favorite. I got a PayPal link you can send to me. People have been telling me that sometimes the contributions will get caught up in paypal so i gotta call paypal and be like hey dude how did my money get stuck in your pipe and they're like hey buddy we're paypal you shut up or elon musk will come kick you in the nuts and i'm like send him over i got a venmo or a cash app that don't get stuck there and a patron and i just want to say thank you to everybody i super appreciate it that's kind of sick majority of november but i've come back to full strength and we are going to party out the end of 2019 and go into 2020 full force now let us get back to boobs or the fifth force of the universe. All right, we were talking about the four fundamental forces. These forces drive the motion and behavior of everything we see around us. At least, that's what we think. That's a funny sentence for science to say. But over the past several years, there's been increasing evidence of a fifth fundamental force. New research has discovered this fifth fourth. What? It's easy for you to say. Susie... Fifth force in by the seashore with seashells, like a currency. But it does show that we still don't fully understand these cosmic forces. Yeah, we don't understand much. Remember, you don't get grant money by going, I don't understand. Hand me grant money, and I'll figure it out. The fundamental forces are part of the standard moder moder or particle physics. Man, Mercury's direct, Neptune's direct. I got no excuses. What if I had an aneurysm? From thinking about boobs too much, I'm technically a butt man. That's probably too much information. This model describes all the various quantum particles we observe, such as electrons, protons, antimatter, and quark, and such. I gotta clear my mind of boobs, I guess. Quarks, neutrinos, and the Higgs bosom. Bossum. Bassoon. It's like Boston without a T. My name is T. That's weird. Are all part of the model. Yeah, that's what they say, man. But isn't it weird? Like, CERN, who's not really technically owned by anybody, gets way more monthly, yearly budget than NASA. Make your NASA jokes now. The term force in the model is a bit of a misnomer. That's what she said. In the standard model, each force is the result of a type of carrier bosom. Mm, mm, mm. Photons are the carrier bosom for electromagnetism. Gluons are the carrier bosoms for the strong 
and bosoms known as W and Z are for the weak. Yeah. I never dated anybody who wore like a, a bra size of a Z. I've dated, I've dated D's before. That's way too much information. How did I get so saucy? Gravity isn't technically part of the standard model, but it's assumed that quantum gravity has a bosom known as the graviton. We still don't fully understand quantum gravity, but one idea is that gravity can be united with the standard model to produce a grand unified theory. Gut. I got a grand unified theory for sure. I'm going to try and walk 10,000 steps a day again to get rid of it. We'll see. Also, I'm trying to quantum tunnel into Selena or Ariana. They're both. It's probably TMI. Every particle we've ever discovered is a part of the standard model. The behavior of these particles matches the model extremely accurately. We have looked for particles beyond the standard model, but so far we've never found any. It's kind of like dark matter. Eh, whatever. They're like, we found dark matter. We didn't find dark matter. We found it but we don't have a picture of it. It's kind of like water on Mars. We found water on Mars. We didn't find water on Mars. We did. We found water on Mars again. We didn't find water on Mars. And I'm like, hey, why don't you go check the snowy spots? I think you'll find it there, buddy. The standard model is the triumph of scientific understanding. It is the pinnacle of quantum physics, but we've started to learn it has some serious problems. Kind of like your face. And I'm just kidding. I love you. Your face is beautiful. We're looking at the standard model elementary particles and these are the particles they teach kids in elementary school and they're like hey kids give us billions of dollars so we can accelerate your particles you got up charm top down strange bottom wow who knew particles were so sexual gluon higgs photon electron muon tau bosom electron neutrino muon neutrino tau neutrino and bosom that sounds like a song to begin with, we now know the standard model can't combine with gravity in the way we thought. Nah, everybody knew that. Oh, gravity's got big holes in it, but nobody ever really talks about it. In the standard model, the fundamental forces unify at higher energy levels. Like, you ain't got cars that run on gravity, bro. Why not? In the standard model, the fundamental forces unify at higher energy levels. Electromagnetism and the weak combine into the electroweak. That's a horrible term. Hey, man, I'm feeling electro weak. Can I get some electrolytes to go with my electric company? Hey, you guys. And the electro weak unifies with the strong to become the electro nuclear force. Kind of like these nuts. At extremely high energies, the electro nuclear and gravitational forces should unify. Yeah, whatever. Experiments in particle physics have shown that the unification energies don't match up. No way. And then here you got pretty clouds. What do they have to do with anything? I don't know. And here you got pretty dark matter pictures with blue and pink. What do they have to do with anything? I don't know. These are observations of galaxies show the distribution of dark matter. Sweet. Thanks, all you people. More problematic is the issue of dark matter. You're damn right it's problematic. It's like scientists are like, we don't believe in God. There's no evidence. I'm like, why do you believe in dark matter? And they're like, well, because it should be there, but we can't find it. Dark matter was first proposed to explain why stars and gases on the outer edge of a galaxy move faster than predicted by gravity. Either our theory of gravity is somehow wrong, or there must be some invisible dark mass in galaxies. And, dude, science is still stuck on the petroleum combustion engine, which was created in like 1968, so what if science really isn't that smart? Science can't really predict earthquakes. Science can't really predict volcanoes. Science can only really... Uh, make diseases drawn out and more profitable, like see diabetes or cancer. So maybe science isn't as great as it says it is. It just has a great PR firm. Oh, I'm picking on you, science. You're you're easy. Either our gravity, either our theory of gravity. Now now take a pill. And go talk to your daughter about. Now take a pill. And go talk to your doctor about imposter syndrome. That's not something I suffer from. But then they would say, you're Derner Krugning. I'm like, shut up, go eat a cupcake. Either the, our theory of gravity is somehow wrong, or there must be some invisible dark mass in the galaxies. Over the past 50 years, the evidence for dark matter has gotten really strong. Kind of like your coffee. We have observed how who dark matter coffee. 
that will F you up. We've observed how dark matter clusters galaxies together and how it is disturbed, distributed. It's disturbed and distributed within particle galaxies and how it behaves. We know it doesn't interact strongly with regular matter or itself, and it makes up the majority of mass in most galaxies. But there is no particle in the standard model that could make up dark matter. Oh, man. Is this all about dark matter? More than ever. It's possible that dark matter could be made of something such as small black holes or your butt. But astronomical data doesn't really support that idea because your butt is heavy. That's cute. It's little. I could fit in one hand. Well, I don't know about that. Dark matter is most likely made of some yet undiscovered particle. One, the standard model doesn't predict energy distribution of the universe. Selena's butt's in there somewhere. I can't talk about her butt. Her mom might be listening. Then there's dark energy. Detailed observations of distant galaxies show that the universe is expanding at an ever-increasing rate. Kind of like my gut. But I'm walking 10,000 steps a day again because Jupiter's going into Capricorn, and that is when I get in superhero shape again. I expanded when Jupiter was in Sagittarius because I'm a Sagittarius. That's how it works. There seems to be some kind of energy driving this process, and we don't understand how. It could be that this acceleration is the result of structure of space and time, a kind of cosmological constant that causes the universe to expand. It could be that this is driven by some new yet new force yet to be discovered. Cue the Star Wars music. Maybe Baby Yoda's doing it. I love Baby Yoda. Whatever dark energy is, it makes up more than two-thirds of the universe, said some crazy scientist guy. But scientists say a lot of shit, man. All of this points to the fact that the standard model is, at best, incomplete. There are things we are fundamentally missing in the way the universe works. You can say that again, bucko. Lots of ideas have been proposed to fix the standard model, from supersymmetry to yet undiscovered quarks. I've got some quirks in my quarks, baby. But one idea is that there's a fifth fundamental force. How about God? God is the fifth fundamental force. Sounds good to me. This force would have carried its own carrier bosom, ooh, as well as new particles beyond the ones we've discovered. This fifth force would also interact with the particles we have observed in subtle ways that contradict the standard model. This brings us to a new paper claiming to have evidence of such an interaction. All right, somebody give that guy a Nobel Peace Prize, even though there's no peace on Earth. The paper looks like an anomaly in the decay of helium-4 nuclei, and it builds off an earlier study of beryllium-8 decays. Beryllium-8 has an unstable nucleus that decays into two nuclei of helium-4. In 2016, the team found that the decay of beryllium-8 seems to violate the standard model slightly. Whoa. Nobody likes to be violated. When the nuclei are, are in an excited state, it can emit an electron-positron pair as it decays. The number of pairs observed at larger angles is higher than the standard model predicts and is known as the atom chi anomaly. As my favorite school of kung fu, I'll teach you someday. There are lots of possible explanations for the anomaly, including experiment error. But one explanation is that it's caused by Bosom, the team named X-17. Ooh. Selena Ariana. It would be the carrier Bosom for a yet unknown fifth fundamental force with a mass of 17 MeV. Mary Ellen Van Zandt. It's just a name I randomly spit out there. In the new paper, the team found a similar discrepancy, a similar discrepancy in the decay of helium-4. The X-17 particle could also explain this anomaly. Yeah, whatever. It's never aliens. What if aliens are the fifth force? I'm sticking with God, though. While this sounds exciting, there's reason to be cautious. Always, when you're dealing with bosoms, when you look at the details of the new paper, there's a bit of odd data tweaking. All right. Basically, the team assumes X-17 is accurate and shows the data can be made to fit with their model. 
showing that a model can explain the anomalies isn't the same as proving your model does explain the anomalies. Well, thanks for that, buddy. Other explanations are possible. Always. If X17 doesn't exist, I wonder if it gets you high. We should have also seen it in other particle experiments, and we haven't. The evidence for this fifth, fifth force is really weak. Man, you should start the article with that sentence. I wouldn't have got my hopes up so high. I thought it would be bosoms. The fifth force could exist, but we haven't found it yet. What we do know is that the standard model doesn't entirely add up, and that means some very interesting discoveries are waiting to be found. Well, fan freaking tastic, man. I'm going to go ahead and say the fifth force is women, and, and not just their boobs or their butts, all of them, their minds, their hips, their knees, the back of their legs, their elbows, their hands, their fingers, their cheeks, the back of their neck, their nape. All right, you guys know the parts of the female. I love you, ladies. I love you, Astro Fight Club, and I love you, Astonishers. And if you would like to contribute, every single dollar helps. Uh, we only got $732 to go with. Five days left. Thanks again to George, Cheryl, Darlene, Joy, Ellie, Tawny, and Athena. Y'all are amazing, and you're definitely a force in my life. Everybody stay cool. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Let's live long and prosper together. All right. Stay cool.